Hello everybody and welcome to the West Coast. Now today, what we're going to be doing is the same thing as before, but obviously we're going to be using the Lemkin seed drill. But also, we've got to first of all go and uh, pick up a wool pallet from the sheep farm. Now the reason for this is because the wool pallet is 100% full, which means we should be able to get quite a decent amount of money from this today. Oh wow, the snow is still here. Anyway, um, the other good thing is the notification mod, which is currently displaying that the wall pallet is full, actually did say at the beginning when I started the game, annoyingly I missed it off the video, but it did flash up with the message saying, a sheep has been born. So obviously the reproduction is going well. I looked into it and actually it wasn't just a sheep, but two sheep have been born, which is very good news. So we now have 22. 22 and we have only paid for 20. Now we have actually put a lot of effort into keeping them watered and fed and everything so that's probably cost more than buying two sheep anyway but the thing is they're going to pick up speed they'll start to reproduce faster as there's more of them and providing they stay productive everything is going to go pretty well now we're going to need this tractor and I think our trailer is actually still dumped on the track going up to the sheep farm anyway so we should be able to use it and hopefully it should be a very simple case of going to sell the wool pallet the price isn't the best, as you can see here. It is the Wednesday store, and uh, it's currently red, so it can get much better. So, I suppose one thing which might be a good idea is actually to hold off doing this. It, if you look at the forecast, you can see it's going to rain, so we could make the most of the weather first of all, which actually sounds like a pretty good idea, and then when it starts to rain, we can go and transport it over. It does mean transporting them in the, in the rain, but, if you think about it, the pallets are stored outside anyway, so it's not really any different. So that is most likely a better approach. Now, um, the other thing is, I think maybe this tractor should stay as the cultivating tractor. And we should have the Lemkin on the John Deere. But first of all, I'm going to have to check the horsepower requirements, because I don't want to be putting a tractor on something which requires way too much power. So it is this one... here. <laughs> Almost got it. Uh, 270 horsepower requirement, and the tractor we own is, let me just see, 310. So yes, it can do. This can remain the cultivating tractor. So let's head over to one of the fields. This tractor is going to be parked first of all. We'll use it later. Um, also notice that despite the snow still being on the road, everything is looking much more lush. In the first day or so, two days of the, uh, the spring, everything is still very dead looking, very wintry, but now we're three days in, it's now mid-spring, um, everything looks very healthy, which is nice to see. Anyway, I think it is the field opposite. It is, field number three. Oh crikey, so many vehicles. Come on. Good. So hopefully, I'm going to be able to get into the gateway here. It is going to be fairly tight, um, but I, I do not definitely do not regret getting the tractor. It's very, very good. And actually, it can fit through the gateways fairly easily. It's not too hard. So there we go. We'll come back to that later. Very good. Okay, so now what we have to do is run over to the other farm again, or this farm up here. Hill Ridge, and better not get squished like a grape. And then we can get into the John Deere, and we can attach it to the Lemkin and start drilling. Somebody said it's a direct drill, but I'm pretty sure it isn't because I did check this in the previous episode. So um, I'm not saying you're wrong because you may be, but I don't think it is a direct drill because that's the whole reason why I got the cultivator. Because usually, um, if it's a direct drill, it will quite clearly state that cultivation is required first. Or, I don't know if it does say that exactly, um, it does say something. What does it say for a direct drill? Yes, it says this. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. So, yeah, it isn't... Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that went badly wrong. Yeah, it, it's not a direct drill. So, we, we're definitely going to have to uh, cultivate first. But I don't think that's a bad thing. It's quite good. And for fields like the oilseed rape field, it's definitely necessary anyway. Okay. What do we have on the front? Oh yeah, we're doing the snow clearance. 
I really do hope that the price of wool is going to increase throughout the day. Uh, by the time we come to get rained off, um, it should be much later in the day and the price should have changed because there should be a much higher demand. And we're going to be starting over in, I think it's film number four, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I... Oh no, film number four is one, but I was going to, yeah. Yeah, let's do film number four. I've said it now. I must make sure I do the same crop. Otherwise, this would look a bit weird when it comes to grow. There'd be a square in the middle of the field, which is a totally different crop to the rest of it. About one third of it would be different. And actually, uh, I can't remember exactly what I was doing. I think it might have been canola. I think it might have been oilseed rape to most people in the UK. Okay, we clear. Yep. So we're still in this area. After this field, we're going over to field number 16. Actually, you know what? I think a tracked vehicle is actually easier to get into the gateways, despite it being longer. Just about possible. This should be very fast. I'll check this first. Yep, okay, so that's perfect. Let's get it done. That confirms it, it just went over a piece of stubble and it did not cultivate it in. So, yep, it's definitely not a direct drill. Now, I know that I did buy the other cultivator. I'm not even too sure what the manufacturer is. But the one on the uh, Challenger currently is obviously the one we went for. And somebody posted in the previous episode that I should have got the Lemkin, which is a very similar size, I think, for that one. But that one might be a bit bigger. Just to keep the same sort of style on the farm. You're sticking with the Lemkin dealers and everything. And I suppose when you look at it, that would have been a good idea. It's a shame people can't post their opinions before I do something, but that wouldn't really work, because you don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, I suppose in the future, that is something we should uh, definitely look at. So we stick with the same thing. Maybe have an entire fent farm, so you only have fent tractors, and you only have maybe Cavernland stuff, or Lemkin stuff. Final pace, and unfortunately, the rain seems to be very close. The icon for the weather has just changed from sunshine uh, to now rain, so I think it takes about an hour or two to actually start. Obviously at the moment it's very clear, very nice indeed, but it's imminent. It's going to be tight getting the other field finished. I don't think we'll finish field number um, 14. I've just said this number. 16. Unbelievable. Uh, yes, so let's go and get it done. Maybe a few pieces here I need to go over again. But we are in a bit of a rush. It's now mid-spring. We only have about three days left to do everything. So it's fairly chaotic. And especially when most of the fields still need to be cultivated first. This is why we would need to probably do multiplayer or something to be able to own more fields than what we have. Otherwise it's impossible to keep on top of stuff. Having said that, you could put some of the fields as grass or poplars or something different. Or potatoes or sugar beets which isn't a bad idea it's just as I've mentioned before it is very expensive to do sugar beet potatoes poplars and all that kind of stuff and you don't really get too much in return so it's actually not really worth it all right let's see if we can leave here in one piece hopefully we can do easier leaving than it is arriving and that is actually that field done for the time being until fertilizer or spraying so we're going to get that gate shut. We'll climb back into our John Deere. And let's go over to field number 16. We can cultivate in the rain, providing it doesn't get too wet. If it gets too wet, then obviously we can't do. But we're not going to waste the afternoon entirely. At least I hope we're not going to. Uh, nope, not, not that field. This one here. This can be barley. 
We'll see how far we can go. Silo Kings are on sale. I don't think we need a Silo King at the moment, so we're going to have to leave that there. I'm going to use the ridge markers, I think. We're done. So let's get it folded up and we're going to take it over to the main yard again, I think, because we're going to be refilling it and we'll be using it again, hopefully, in the next episode. Uh, it just depends how wet this, well, how much rain is going to be, how wet the rain is going to be. Yes, the rain is going to be wet. Anyway, we've done very well at the moment because obviously it hasn't rained, uh, but I don't think it's going to be too long now. It certainly shouldn't be. And also, actually, the sheep require water. So, it's a good job of going over there anyway. Oh, it's going very dark. I think it might be about to start. I think it is. Let's just see. Also, the next forecast prediction has appeared as well, which is sunshine. Which is very good for us, it just means that the rain's even closer. I'm going to put this around the back. Obviously we'll be going in the Ford, or the New Holland later. That's the refill point just there. And we're going to leave it there. So, let me jump out. I have to run back down to the cultivator's field. And then we'll see how much we can do. Mm, actually, it isn't looking too bad. But it's been, how, how, it's been about four hours. Four or five hours since it first said it was about to rain. So, either somebody predicted the weather wrong or... It actually isn't going to rain, but that'll be a first because it always does what it's supposed to do in Farming Simulator. Okay, so we're over at the Challenger's Field. Let's see how much we can do before it gets too wet. I don't think it'll be too long, but I've said this before. I didn't even think we'd get Field 16 done, but we have done, so <laughs> you mustn't complain. Okay, let's get it all unfolded. I forget how wide this thing is too. It's a very good working with. Let's get cracking. You really couldn't do without a really high horsepower tractor when you have so many fields because you just wouldn't be able to get everything cultivated and drilled and fertilised in time. If you weren't running seasons then obviously it's going to take the strain off but then you're not really doing it that realistically because you can just harvest a field and then immediately re-drill it and then in a few days time re-harvest it yeah we should make short work of this I'm not going to do another time lapse just at the moment um, I don't think this one will be too interesting because we've just done a time lapse of cultivating in the previous episode so I'll just probably go off screen do as much as I can do and then likely in a second it'll be chucking it down I think I must be wishing this rain on us it's not turning up but I keep mentioning it so yeah go away rain I'm not really wanting you to be here although it would be nice to have a bit of water on the fields we've planted for germination um, now we are going to finish uh, because we've got to go over to the sheep farm 
and we've got the other job which we didn't actually expect to be doing, which is the watering of the sheep. We need to give them water. Um, and then we'll finish off by going over to the sell point, where hopefully the price has improved. So let's get this folded up. While it's doing that, I've gone here. And the price is on the, uh, on the rise there, as you can see. In fact, it's going up quite quickly. But it's still showing red. So it can still be much better. We'll have to take our time driving over there and giving them water so the price has time to climb even further. I think though, we have been very lucky because when, when you actually looked at the forecast for today, it was showing just rain for the entire day. And obviously that is not the, the point at all. It's way from that. It's in fact sunny most of the day. And it looks like we're going to finish the day with the rain. Sunday and Monday are looking fantastic. And Tuesday has got rain, but we don't know when the rain is going to be. Probably it isn't going to affect us at all. We might be very lucky. This could probably do with a check over. That can go into the workshop. And we're going to swap over to the new Holland tractor. I'll have to make sure the forks are on the front, otherwise it'd be kind of pointless taking it. Yes, they are. Good. Let's go. We need to get that trailer moved as well. The flatbed. It is amazing that we're already into the second year on the west coast. It feels like five seconds since we started. Time really does fly. Uh, I don't know when we're going to finish. I wouldn't like to say it's going to be this year, this in-game year, not 2017, uh, the season's year. Um, it would be nice to continue beyond that. I did initially say at least 40 episodes. I'm going to stick by that. When I say that, I'm not trying to imply that it's going to be less than 40. I'm actually implying that it's going to be possibly more than 40. So 40 really is the minimum episodes we're going to do. I think Colbert Park Farmer must have done a total of about 120 because we did the initial version because it, it used to just be called Colbert Farm. Then there was the new version, Colbert Park Farm and I've obviously done a number of multiplayer videos on there as well. Um, I can search. I can search and see how many videos I have actually done and I would say it's about 120. I don't think the West Coast would be quite as much, uh, purely because I think this is a multiplayer map that might be a bit hard to run. I'm not too sure. I'm not saying that. It could be very well optimised, but um, I don't know. We'll just see what the future holds. But yeah, certainly a minimum of 40 single player episodes. I have been known to finish a series and then return to it at a later date anyway. Again, Cobble Park Farm is one of those. The rain is here, that's not very nice, that's very depressing. Uh, we'll also see if they need to have any hay, because we've got lots of hay here getting a bit moist. So that does want to be dealt with. We'll be starting to do the grass mowing very soon. It's actually going to be summer, I thought. I don't think it'll be spring. Even though you would usually do first cut in spring. Just because I don't think the game is going to provide us with enough grass to do much with. Oh look, two pallets. We'll take them both, just for fun. Okay, let's see if I can reverse it into here. This is going to go horribly wrong. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is it even worth bothering? Actually, if that barn wasn't there, that probably would be possible. But yeah, let's just drive through. Much easier. Okay. Basically, just to keep the bales dry while we stack. Um, they might have to go for a journey over to the cell point. Well, let me just see. It's looking good. Um, yeah. Still very, very good. Obviously a bale does last a very long time. I 
just move the other one out of the way. Because um, I want to put some on first. We don't have to take the smaller pallet, the emptier one, because it will have probably uh, nothing in it at all. But now it's been moved off the trigger, it may not continue to fill. I had to move it to get access to that one. Yeah, because there's another one. Yeah, we'll take it. We have to, really. Not really an option. When I first started today, uh, the pallet was at 97% full. And then when I started to record, it was 100% full. So it filled up 3% in about four minutes. So that really does show how productive these sheep are. And now we have 22 of them. They really are going to produce even more wool and even more sheep. Let's go. I can't say I've been to the Wednesday store before, but it's not too far from here. So we should be able to quickly nip over there. If there's going to be a barn over there, we'll keep everything in there when we end the episode. Failing that, we'll have to bring it back to here, just so we can keep the bales under shelter. Let me just see. Yep, somewhere to the right of here. Come on, car. Shouldn't have pulled out. I'm guessing it's that barn just there. You can just about see a barn. Yep, must be. So let's try and find a turning. Somewhere, possibly off the other road. Have to turn right here. How do we get there? Yep, it's definitely up here. Here it is. Wall cell point. And I don't think that we actually have any shelter unless he's open. No. So, okay. Where do these pallets of wool go? That is a good point. Where do the pallets of wool go? Well, I'll take the straps off and we'll start to waft the crate around randomly. And as soon as we hit the cell point, it will obviously disappear. So that's what we're going to have to do. I don't know though. I'm, I'm amazed um, that there isn't like a, a box, but I suppose it's a very discreet way of doing it. It looks better. First things first, the empty pallet. There is 167 litres in here. Where could it possibly go? I found it and the price is now very good. So we've got to let it hit 9,000 I think, just to make it um, even better. It shouldn't take us too long. There we go. Slightly cheated there. Come on. Can I reach? Can't quite reach it. And yeah, this should be worth a lot of money. Then we need to go back over to the, uh, the other farm and give them some water. Do you want it? It took it here before. That's interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, it's oh right. Okay. Selling gradually. Yeah, wool is definitely worth a lot of money. It's worth doing. Brilliant stuff. Okay. So to finish off, water. The rain has cleared. It was very short-lived, which means the ground is wet. As as you can see, there is an the icon there, but can't be that wet. Let's we'll try out very quickly. Tomorrow we'll be fine to do everything else, all the drilling, all the cultivating. That's all dropped off. And to finish off, we've got the Joskin water tanker, which must be fitted first. Not too far forward, far back. And let's empty that there. Fantastic. We should now be able to see that everything is looking very healthy. Yep, fantastic then. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.